Question 2 is, when we pass to the spirit world, will we be reunited with our loved ones? Yes, in most cases, if we have lived at least reasonably good and decent lives, we will. When we pass we will not only be reunited with our loved ones, it is highly likely that it will be them who come to meet and greet us. A forthcoming event such as someone's physical passing is usually known well in advance by those progressed in the spirit world, such as our spirit guides. Loved ones too will likely be aware, but if not they will be told the news of the intended transition by our guides and they will happily be prepared for the day. Even though there are many levels in the spirit world, a bond of love will always find expression, because love abounds and is a motivating force in the spirit world and within all creation. So even if a loved one has progressed to a higher level than ourselves, if they desire to visit or stay for a while with us they will be perfectly free and able to do so. If on the other hand the level attained by ourselves is higher, then we will be free to visit our loved ones, if we so choose. Naturally, if either party lack the desire to continue a relationship, then no force compels cooperation. Each of us is a free spirit, love unites only if reciprocated. We are of course all infinite spirit beings here and now, even though we currently function through a physical body, and since we are spirit beings we cannot be truly separated from loved ones. We probably meet them on many occasions during sleep state, when the spirit, or soul, these two terms are more or less used according to one's preference to reflect the same thing, is able to leave the physical body. When the spirit leaves the physical body during the sleep state this is basically the same process as at death, except that during out-of-body sleep experiences an energy link is maintained with the physical body. This energy link keeps the physical body alive so that we can return and reawaken. When we wake from sleep we tend to remember little if any of our sleep state meetings. Sometimes a small fleeting recollection may register, and we often think of this as just a dream. However, often what we may think was a dream is much more. I can tell of meetings personally experienced with two relatives. The first was as long ago as 1984, and involved my uncle Alfred, who at that time, had recently passed. I have a clear memory of meeting him and of him telling me that his experience of passing, and still finding himself alive, was a bit of a shock at first, and he added, but I'm getting used to it now. I do not believe that before his passing he had any expectations of survival, and when he said it was a bit of a shock, I presume he meant a pleasant one. On another occasion, during 1993, I again remember a spirit world visit to this same uncle, when he showed me a scroll concerning the history of his wife, who was an orphan of unknown parents, who by that time had also passed. The fact, that she had already passed, suddenly came out in our conversation. Next, I remembered that my uncle had passed first, and this sort of realization usually ends such an experience very quickly, bringing one back to their physical body and awakening. On this occasion it was almost the same, but before it ended my uncle gave me a very roguish and knowing smile, expressing pleasure at my realization, and at having played a further part in my life. Another such experience of a spirit world meeting was with my father, Stanley, two months after his passing in 1994. I was sitting talking with him, and although I do not recall the earlier conversation it seemed we had been together for some time. Then, the realization once more came to me that he had passed, and that I was therefore out of body, and when I mentioned this to my father his reaction was to smile and confirm the fact. But before being drawn back to my physical body, he managed to tell me how he had been watching my mother, Elizabeth, just after his passing, and seen her tears and he was chuckling, and saying how daft it was, inferring that since he was perfectly well and happy, tears were unnecessary, and that ended the experience. Therefore, when we awake with such a memory we should rejoice, because it is almost certain that we were together, in the spirit world, 
with our loved ones. The reason why our earth consciousness more often only manages to recall a blurred and confused version of what may have transpired during our out-of-body excursions is because it is far more limited than our full spirit consciousness. If it wasn't, we would remember every experience and everything about ourselves as spirit beings, and this would make our time on earth a far less meaningful challenge, and therefore limit our ability to advance our soul growth.